video is about 10 morning routines that could transform your life. And these are routines that I do personally to help me become more successful, more productive. Routine number one is to wake up early. First thing in the morning, set your alarm clock a little bit earlier than usual and wake up earlier so that you can get more done. Sometimes when you sleep in, you find that um, half the day is over and you don't have as much time to do the things that you need to do. But what I found was that when you wake up earlier, maybe even just 30 minutes or an hour earlier, you'll tend to be able to get more things done in the morning. So what happens a lot in the afternoon, if you start your day then, then everybody demands your attention. But in the morning, everybody is focused and getting ready to do their work. So it gives you the peace and calm that allows you to really focus your mind for that day. Another thing you can do if you wake up early is you can just stay in bed and do a breathing exercise while you're in bed. So you're kind of like in a meditative state. You don't want to fall back asleep, but what that helps you to do is to tune and kind of calm your nervous system before you actually wake up. It kind of warms you up for the day instead of shocking your system, uh, shocking your brain and kind of make, put it into a rush mode, into like a fight or flight mode. You want to have a calm, relaxed focus. So staying in bed and actually waking, waking up early consciously and meditating before you open your eyes for about 10 minutes actually helps a lot. Take a cold shower. You can do this in the morning to kind of like shock your nervous system so it uh, wakes up. And I've done the Wim Hof ice bath training and I train it up to a point where I can do 67 push-ups without breathing. And also I was able to do two minutes in ice cold water, ice cold full submersion uh, without shivering or shoving, just with the breathing exercise. So you don't have to do it to that extent, but I recommend if you are um, waking up and you want to get that shock of your system, get your adrenaline and get your metabolism uh, kickstart, a good thing to do would be to take a cold shower in the morning. You don't have to do an ice bath. You can work yourself up to that level, but you can start by taking a warm shower. Then in the middle of it, take 30 seconds of a cold shower and then go back to the warm shower. That's the beginning of the Wim Hof training. And once you get more accustomed with the cold water, you can start increasing the duration of the cold water, or you can just go straight into the cold shower without starting with a warm shower. In the morning, do a workout or do a qigong exercise. I like to do qigong exercises in the morning. It combines body movements with breathing and visualization. And that helps a lot with setting up your nervous system so that it can tune your brain and your thought processes and your consciousness so that it's more effective. And it's all natural. You can do this without taking any vitamins. You can do this without taking any coffee or any tea. You schedule everything you do. So don't schedule the day off. I would schedule your day at uh, your week and then the day before, the night before, I will already have what I need to do the next day already planned in my mind so that I'm not having to figure out what I'm gonna do that day, I already have it planned out. So a good way to do this is to make a to-do list. I know a lot of us can get really overwhelmed with so many things that we need to do. We need to walk the dog, we need to feed the dogs, we need to go to work, we need to call people, we need to you know, do a whole bunch of errands and things like that, and it can get pretty uh, overwhelming. So what I'd like to do is to make a to-do list. Let's say list out all the things that you need to do, and then just prioritize the two things that are most important. So what I do on the list is, it, so to keep me focused, I would move all the other eight items or all the other items that you have off of the screen and only show the two things that I need to do on the day. So when I do that, what that does is that it focuses me on just those two things so I don't get overwhelmed, I don't get distracted, and it makes it very easy in my mind to accomplish those things that I wrote down. Journaling. Journaling can simply be writing down your thoughts and writing down your ideas. And the best time for me to do that is actually while I'm sleeping. So what I do is um, I have a notepad 
next to my bed that I can just like grab when I need to if I have an idea. What you don't want to do is to take out your phone, turn it on, and then type it in your phone. Because what happens whenever you use that LCD screen and you turn it on, actually wakes up your, your mind and puts you into a different um, brainwave. And that may actually interrupt your sleep. So you want to avoid using the phone when you're sleeping. That really interrupts your, your um, brainwaves and your thought processes. And it's not healthy for you because you want to get good night's sleep. So what you do is, if you have an idea, is get a pen that can light up with just a click and get a little tiny notepad, that's what I do. I put it right next to your bed on your nightstand, just easily grab it, click on the light and just write down the thing and then go back to sleep. It's a really good way to journal and by the time you wake up, you look up back in your notes and wow, you have like 10 ideas that you had while you were sleeping. And that's how I get most of my ideas. Hey, do you like what you're hearing so far? If you do, make sure you subscribe to this channel, the David Wong channel. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you're gonna get lots of new vlogs like this, educational videos that help you to succeed and to become the best that you can be. So hit the like button, make a comment down below or ask me anything that you want. So let's get on with the top 10 morning routines that can transform your life. Remember your dreams and practice visualization. So sometimes we get very busy doing the actual thing like working on your business or working on a project and you get so busy doing the actual tasks and you know achieving your, your goal and things like that that you forget your dream and why you started doing the thing in the first place. So it's very good to do this on a regular basis. It could be a weekly basis, it could be a monthly basis to spend a day or spend an hour or two to actually just meditate, just calm yourself, center yourself and Visualize what it is that you wanted to achieve. Visualize where you want to be. Visualize that goal, that thing that you wanted, that you want to have, that position that you want to be in, the um, experience that you want to experience, you know, the accomplishment or the people that you wanted to meet. So have that in your mind and just meditate on that. And then maybe over the time that actually changed. So what you can do is that on your journal, um, you would write down what your visualizations are. Maybe it will help to put a picture of what you want. So if you wanted to get a new car, like before I had this i8, I had a picture of i8 for many years on my, on my dream board. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to afford this car. It's pretty expensive, but one day I'm going to get it. And then you know what? Now I drive it. And then I used to visualize, you know, in my mind, sitting behind a steering wheel and then driving the car, feeling great, hearing the engine you know, and swinging the doors up and down, getting in and out. So I would visualize those things. And that was before I had this car. And now I have this car. So that really worked for me. So what you can do is to visualize on a regular basis. And your visions may change once in a while, and that's okay. So you want to update that vision so that you know if where you're going today is where you want to actually head to. Spend time with your loved ones. So if you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, spouse, partner, or, or somebody that's a close friend, it's a good idea to have a regular routine time that you spend with them so that you, you don't get too busy and then you kind of neglect those relationships because relationships are the foundation of your life especially your wife or your husband or your spouse or your partner because uh, you can share with the problems, share with the issues and get support and then because that person is your rock. When everything falls to shit, sometimes that happens in your life. You may encounter some obstacles and challenges or things in your life that, are, that you can't really prepare for. So you need to have a rock in your life so that you can rely on and have strength in face of adversity. Routine number nine is to not procrastinate. Now for me personally, procrastination has never been a problem because I'm a go-getter. I'm always about action. I'm always doing something. I can't sit still. I have, always have to be working. I always have to be accomplishing something. But if you are procrastinating, I think a good way to do that is to just, you know, set yourself in motion. Do something. Do something small, even if it's like very, very insignificant. Like what happens is you want to build momentum. And let's say, I think one thing with procrastination is that you see that the problem or the task is so big and so overwhelming that you feel like helpless and you feel like nothing you're gonna do is really gonna make much of a difference. 
So you procrastinate, you put it off because it's such a big task, right? So what you can do is just break it down to smaller tasks and more achievable tasks. Let's say that you want to do this big project. Well, break it down to smaller steps. What's the first thing you do? Like break it down to like, okay, I need to make an outline. Okay, what do I need? Break it down, down even further. I didn't make the first sentence. I need to make the first headline. I need to make the title, right? Just break it down to smaller, smaller details so that it makes it easy for you to accomplish these tasks. And as you accomplish these little mini tasks, then it can uh, give you more mo motivation to tackle the whole thing. So the number 10 routine that will transform your life is to stick to a routine. So all those things that I talked about today, all those routines, put it in your schedule and schedule it. You know, when are you gonna do that meditation? When are you gonna do that journaling? When are you gonna do the exercise? What time specifically? What days, right? Make it a set routine and just follow the schedule. A few months down the road, you will already have done these things multiple times. And the more you do it, the more you make it a habit, it becomes easier and easier, it becomes part of you and makes you become more successful just naturally. And before, what was used to be hard and difficult to do now becomes very easy. And all those habits actually turn into results. So what you'll find is you'll become more effective, more productive, you'll be happier, you'll be healthier, you'll be stronger, you'll be more successful. You'll probably make more money too. You have better friendships, better partnerships, and so on. So it all begins with just starting with a little small action that you need to take. Do a routine and keep doing with the routine and you're gonna get there. Hey, thanks for watching my top 10 routines that will transform your life. So keep doing them, start small, pick up one or two routines to start with and eventually incorporate more and more routines into your life. And what you'll find, you'll become more productive, you're gonna become even more intelligent, be more successful, happier, stronger, healthier, and just feel great. So I hope that helps you out. I'll see you soon in the next video.